until a dramatic escape on Christmas Eve of 1987, which was motivated by a disturbing rumor about Manson. I got a letter he had, that said he had cancer. I called two people. They said that they heard the same thing. I had no way of getting in touch with anybody, and I, was, I wasn't going to just stick around. I realized after I escaped that, that I need him more than he needs me. She was apprehended two miles from the prison after nearly 48 hours in the rain. The escape has severely damaged her parole possibilities. And once again, she did it all in the name of Charlie. No, I've been eligible for parole. They're not going to let me go. I'm being used, but I put myself in the position and I'm taking the consequences. I got tangled in the web. Sometimes I wish the spider would have eaten me. Had I known a little bit more, I could have probably done some things to be able to get Manson out. If I, if I had it in me, I would have done a lot more. At 41, Lynette Squeaky Frome remains behind bars after spending her entire adult life trapped in a shared madness with one of the most hated men of the 20th century. So why does she seem so happy? I'm, I'm romantically in love with him, but it's more than that. He's given me more than any creature on earth. Anyone. From escape from prison here in West Virginia, she was sent to a higher security federal penitentiary in Florida. But Tate killers Charles Tex Watson and Susan Atkins remain in more liberal institutions in California.